Okay, as you can see, we're still at Thomas Square. I had to step away for a sec. Here, I'll take and uh, put myself on. Let's see if I can get some decent light. Okay, so what basically happened is uh, they've come here to implement the law of ROH 1026. ROH 1026 is a sidewalk use law. And uh, so they're putting times of when the sidewalk can and can't be used and in what manner it can be used and uh, during specific times. It's kind of weird, right? It's public use. It should be public use. But uh, anyhow, they, uh, with this, they removed uh, the occupiers from their tents saying that they weren't allowed to be anywhere near them, but that they're not going to remove the items. Well, just a very means of keeping them from their property or having use of their property or to remove their property or anything else uh, is unconstitutional against the 4th and 14th Amendment, I believe. And, uh, you know, plus they've been manhandling some of them, which, you know, I mean, so you, you got a few amendments in there that they're infringing on. But uh, you have a right to property and you have a right to protect your property and they're definitely infringing on those rights. And uh, with the law, that I, when I looked it up, found was uh, been taken off the books. It's been repealed by Bill 54, and uh, so they can't do anything about any of it anyhow. So I went and uh, let the police officer know, uh, Sergeant Santos, he said he couldn't do anything about it, and that I needed to talk to the employees. So I went to talk to the employees. And then uh, the employees said that they, they have no knowledge of what exactly is going on themselves, that I had to talk to the manager. So I went to the manager and talked to him. He refused to give me his name. And then uh, when talking to him, I, I asked him about what he was doing, and uh, he told me, you know, that it, in fact it was 1026, uh, ROH 1026 that he was doing this under. And uh, I showed him on the city and county website how it's been repealed by Bill 54, and he's like, no, it hasn't. Yes, it has. And just like the park rules that you keep trying to impose, they've been repealed by Bill 54. You cannot... You, you cannot legitimately do anything about those laws. You have to do it in the manner of Bill 54. So um, he, he didn't want to hear it, and I told him, I was like, fine, then I'm filing a police report on you for violating my civil rights of property and to protect my property. And uh, he about laughed it off. So I went to the police officer and told him I want to file a report on this man for violating my civil rights and told him exactly what they were, what amendments, and everything else. And he says he can't do that because he's too busy. The reason why he's busy is because the manner in which they came and did this by taping everything off, came with DFM's trucks, did all this stuff, it's like a normal raid. But it, um, where Santos says it's not, that they're not going to remove people's stuff, none of the houseless community had an idea. So what it did is created this huge scramble of people all over the place. And during the fact, a couple ended up getting into a yelling match or whatever as to how to get this stuff out of here because there was no warning, no tagging, no nothing about it. And um, so during which the police got involved and next thing you know, one man's getting arrested because they caused a scene without communication to anybody of what was going on. And uh, since that officer wasn't able to help me out with the stuff that they were doing, you know, violating my civil rights, I took in a, uh, he told me to call the police that I needed to call 911. And I'm like, fine. So I called 911 which really makes no sense. The system has to fix that. There should be a non-emergency and emergency number. It, it ties up calls that shouldn't be there. But anyhow, um, a after talking with 911, they asked for a description of the gentleman that I was talking about. Well, I was standing right next to him. He's, I was calling the police with him standing there, and he started walking away, and I was following, so I give a description. Well, this other, the officer I originally talked to comes up from behind me and hits me, in the right side, uh, on my right shoulder, to push me out of the way, and then start screaming at me for no apparent reason. I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" You know, I mean, here I was nice with him, asked him a question. He told me he couldn't help me. I understood why, and you know, called the police just like he wanted. He knew I was talking to the police. He knows I'm being recorded on nine on nine one one, but here he just comes up and hits me, and then starts screaming at me. So I start screaming back at him. 911 finally hangs up after they get the information because Santos is calling them to tell them to back off and that he's not going to do anything with it. Well, I'm not allowing that to happen. Somebody has to do a report because now it's not just violating my civil rights. Now I have an officer that committed assault on me. So uh, Santos decided, after much arguing, 
to allow a report because he wanted to push it off on the police commission. I was like, no, you're a witness to it. You're right here. You see what's going on, and you have people talking about it. Sorry, you're involved. You have to do something about it now. So he decides to finally go with it and do it just to find out that uh, he's going to give these police reports to the gentleman that I was uh, uh, calling the police on about the one incident of, uh, what is that, assault. And I'm like, what about violating my constitutional right? That gentleman over there, I'm filing a report on for that. Well, he blows it off. He's only interested in the assault one. Said, okay, fine. But he's giving him the report. He gives the officer's report, and they're, they're all filing their stupid stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute. That gentleman there had his back to it. He had no idea what was going on behind him because he was talking on the phone while I was talking to 911. I have a recording with 911, and I have witnesses from the other occupiers that watched, me do, watched what was going on, and he wants to blow it off, and then he decides to start coaching Sugar on how she needs to write her report, and then tells me I need to stop smiling, and that I have to start writing certain things in the report when he gives it to me. And because I felt that I'm not going to be coached, and that he has no right to coach me, now he's refusing to even give me the paperwork to fill out the report. So we're just standing by while everybody else was able to fill reports out, and I'm still not able to file any one of the two that I want to file. And, uh, and this is all over their tactics of coming in here, scaring the public, threatening the public, and causing fights, arresting people, and then police brutality, all because of a law that was repealed by Bill 54. It's no longer enforced as they tear up our sidewalks and try and impose a fake law. So I just want to give you guys an update, and we'll see what happens. All right, talk to you later. Bye.